As Nikki mentioned, I'm Dr. Brian Goldman, host of the CBC radio program, White Coat Black Art, and the CBC podcast, The Dose. Uh, Tamara and I also happen to be the parents of a son, Alex, who earlier this year was diagnosed after a long struggle with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. So we are with you, and uh, this conference is not only going to my head, but it's going to my heart. Today and for the remainder of the week, I'm proud to host this first ever Kids Brain Health Network virtual conference. Um, we've come a long way since the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus a pandemic back in March. Everybody has been facing unprecedented challenges, not the least of which the neurodevelopmental disability and research communities. Uh, we have struggled to continue important research and training to mobilize community agencies and ensure access and support for children and families in their homes. So this is a great time to reconnect, to collaborate, to work together to develop new and emerging ways to deliver services and supports to navigate this new normal. And that's why the theme of the 2020 Kids Brain Health Conference is new and emerging ways of connection. Now, more than ever, we must focus on the vital roles of technology, innovation, and policy decision-making in this ever-changing world that's changing faster and faster and faster. Uh, we hope that the next four days will help you make those connections. You can drop in and out of this virtual conference as often as you like, but don't stay away too long because you will not want to miss the amazing lectures we have lined up for you. Uh, more important, we want to hear from you. So feel free to engage in the chat and submit your questions using the Q&A. In that way, you can connect with other delegates, speakers, delegates, uh, and sponsors. And of course, you'll be able to connect with me uh, in uh, the uh, gathered town. I'll tell you a little bit more about that uh, in a few moments. Uh, speaking of our sponsors, a big shout out to the sponsors of this conference. Simon Fraser University, Claret, the Azraeli Foundation, Can FASD, Queen's University, Holland Blue Review Kids Rehabilitation Hospital, CYMH, the Ontario Center of Excellence for Child and Youth Mental Health, Gathertown, Family Support Institute of BC, and the Michael Smith Foundation for Health Research. Without each of you, this conference would not be possible. On day one of today's session, we're going to focus our attention on accessing services in a COVID-19 world. Tomorrow, we'll shift to emerging ways of delivering treatments. On Thursday, day three, we expand on that theme with a deep dive into the uh, shift to online and how we can harness the lessons of COVID-19. And then finally, on our last day, day four, Friday, our attention turns to policy and decision-making. Uh, it's my pleasure to lead you today and across the next four days as we explore these challenges uh, and their potential solutions. We have an amazing lineup of panels, talks, and forums for you today and every day this week. Here are just a few that I will be looking forward to. Today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's noon Pacific time, catch service delivery and research during and after COVID-19, when a panel of experts uh, gives diverse perspectives on how COVID-19 has shaped the future of service delivery for kids with NDDs and their families. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time, again, that's noon Pacific time, we have Luke's Legacy Lecture, a memorial tribute to the life of Luke Martins, the son of Rachel and Nick Martins, in this panel presentation, family graduates from the KBHN Canchild McMaster University Family Engagement and Research course share their perceptions on conducting meaningful family engagement underscore meaningful family engagement. And then finally on Friday, November 13th, nobody is, is superstitious here, trainees from the KBHN and the CASDA Policy Practicum Fellowship will reflect on and discuss learnings and findings from the policy development process for Canada's national autism strategy. Uh, speaking of the KBHN trainees, you don't want to miss the trainee lightning talks, parts one and two today, November 9th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's uh, 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time. And then tomorrow, that's Tuesday, November 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. That is 1 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, in the lightning talks, trainees and community advocates will give three-minute presentations highlighting key research findings and how they affect the neurodevelopmental disability community. And in the spirit of taking our, our networking online in this virtual world, we want to make sure that, to that you take 
many opportunities over the next four days to connect with each other. And to that end, I'm really excited to tell you about something called Gather Town. This is a free virtual gathering place where you're going to have a chance to connect with trainees, conference delegates, and exhibitors at the exhibition and networking session every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, that's 10 a.m. Pacific Time, and after the day concludes. It's moderated by KBHN Research and Training Manager Doug Swanson, and this session invites you to create your own avatars on the Gather Town platform. You can then use your avatar to interact with other conference delegates. I got my avatar and I, I, uh, I, I will leave it to you to decide whether it's an accurate reflection of me or not. Uh, it's a lot of fun, you won't wanna miss the experience. While in Gather Town, you'll also be able to, to connect with our sponsors and exhibitors and learn more about their organization and their initiatives. Uh, there's a link for Gather Town below this live stream. Uh, at 4.30 p.m. Uh, every day, Eastern Time, that's 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, we will round out the live stream with an end-of-day reflection where I'll give you a breakdown of some of the highlights of today's events uh, and some key takeaways. And the day does not end there. Uh, at the end of the day reflection or following the end-of-day reflection, head over to Gather Town where you can visit the virtual KBHN 2020 networking space and the virtual poster session room at 4.45 p.m. Eastern time, that's 1.45 p.m. Pacific time. And there you can interact with presenters via audio, webcam, and chat. You can ask questions and explore their posters together with other attendees. There's a lot to look forward to and plenty to take in over the next four days. So let's get started. We begin our programming with an event that is always a crowd favorite. That's the Fraser Mustard Lecture. It's presented with thanks to our platinum sponsors, Claret Asset Management and Simon Fraser University. We have a video for you.
My name is Bill Korolchuk. I'm the president and co-founder of Claret Asset Management and proud to be a platinum sponsor for this year's Kids Brain Health Network virtual conference. As a father of four, with one on the autism spectrum, my biggest concern, like all parents of kids with neurodevelopmental disabilities, is who will take care of my child when I am no longer around. Did you know that roughly 80% of parents who are entitled to a disability tax credit do not apply for a registered disability savings plan? and the free money that accompanies this program, we collectively are the advocates for these children. Please visit our virtual exhibitor booth for more details. Enjoy the session.